Greetings everybody, Michael here. Today I will discuss the concept of limitations. So, what are our limitations? I believe two things. Anything is possible nothing impossible so real simple our imaginations are quite amazing this is the creative part of our consciousness this is where we make dreams a reality. When we have an idea, we can do one of two things with that idea. We can make it happen or we can choose to not make it happen. And both processes are part of the experience. When we accept who and what we are and can reconcile why we are here, then we can begin to have fun and learn how to manifest what it is that we wish to achieve. So if we put any kinds of limitations and usually these limitations start with doubt. So doubt is when we believe that we are unworthy of God's love. And that may sound like an extreme absolute, but if we accept that we are here for God, to serve God, and we are living proof that God exists, then we can accept how powerful God's love is and we can begin to create. We've always had the ability to create and we create with our consciousness. We take our experiences and we form thoughts which become beliefs, and those beliefs will propel us toward the thing we wish to create. So if we doubt that something can happen, then we reform a new belief and make that happen. So. Always start with anything is possible. Do you believe that? When you believe you can and will achieve, 
if you doubt, you will create that event of not happening. So you always had the ability to create and your perception will determine how fast that occurs. So, have fun with the process and remember, you are responsible for the creation of your own reality. God gave you life in a physical body, he gave you a mind that you control with your consciousness and fuels your vessel with the Holy Spirit, which is love. If you ever wondered, that's what the Holy Spirit is. It's love. It's so simple. So if you believe that you are being punished when you're feeling angry or experiencing pain or misery, you're judging God harshly. Now, God loves you unconditionally and will always forgive you no, mar no matter what you think, no matter what you believe. And that includes believing that God does not exist. If you accept God's love, and know that you are absolutely worthy, then you will feel peaceful and you will experience things that will also bring you great joy. And then what will happen is you'll be compelled to share your gifts, your happiness, and your life with other beings and remind them, help them to remember who and what they are and why they're here. So this is the way of becoming more aware and doubting is understandable it's even reasonable to doubt but the more aware you become the more accepting you are of God's love the more peaceful you will feel and the more you will realize that doubting is unnecessary if you hold on to those doubtful thought forms, they turn into worry and eventually fear. And all of these feelings, all of these other than peaceful feelings are part of the experience. And it seems that it is necessary for us to experience pain, misery, and suffering at least until we realize that it is no longer necessary. Now, I know personally some people that have figured this out and live very peaceful, happy lives and experience little to no pain or suffering 
And that's awesome. That's, that's really, really great. So when you see these people and you encounter them, ask them how they do it. They'll tell you and they'll be totally honest and they have no reason to lie to you. And what they tell you might be a hard pill to swallow. But if you have faith and you listen, you will feel peaceful too. Now, there are people out there that will discourage you. They will deceive you. They will lie to you because they don't want you to feel happy. They wish for you to feel the way they feel. So when you encounter these people and you engage in a conversation, ask them good questions and help them remember who and what they are and why they are here. If they don't get it and it doesn't resonate with them, that's okay too. Disengage, move on, and proceed on to your next experience. Everything that you've ever thought, said, and done is meant for you to become more aware. And as we merge our free will with God's will, we can achieve anything we wish, anything we can imagine. Anything is possible. All right, people, I love you guys. Remember, if you have any questions, email me, everardmusic at gmail.com. That's E-V-R-A-R-D-M-U-S-I-C at gmail.com. If you just simply wish to view some beautiful images, uh, go to my Instagram. That's at Everard Music. And I have several videos of my philosophies as well as me playing guitar on YouTube. That's Everard Music. And I'm working on my website soon to be up and running. That's going to be michaeleverard.com. All right, people. Namaste.